Hey, good morning, YouTube. Joseph Iroboy here, or you can just call me Plug Smoke for your informational needs to be plugged in. Let me just get past all of that and skip the pleasantries. Start my YouTube channel. You know, I'm come out the do rag and unrack, un 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 unveil the gift. <sighs> I see this, oh God, oh God, help me. Oh, don't drown there. <laughs> anyway. Hey man, uh, I just want to come to you guys and, and uh, have a brief chat. I'm going to start to do this daily. I plan on starting my podcast as well, me and my brother. So you guys be on the lookout for that. We're going to talk sports. You know, I did sports in college, all that type of stuff. So, you know, um, definitely going to be some good gems there. But today I want to give you a gem as far as expectation. So what we have to learn and understand in life is expectation is a gift and it is a curse. And I'll elaborate on that. What I mean is <clears throat> expectation, you know, on oneself is a gift because that can lead to many prominent avenues and op 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 opportunities in life. When it comes to expectation from oneself on others, that's when it gets tricky. That's when it becomes very extremely problematic. And one has to tell themselves that the moment I deem anyone worthy of my expectation, you have to understand what, what, is, what exactly are you placing on, on, that, on that being because that person has expectations for themselves as well. And it's extremely easy. And listen to me at your peril, okay? I never said I'm a guru. I just, I've been through a lot of things, okay? And I'll tell you guys on another podcast what I've been through. I had a very difficult life. Um, never said I've been through anything harder than anybody else, but I've been through hell. And um, to still be here, I'm, I'm highly, extremely blessed, grateful, and I just want to work my, just want to work my blessings, you know, for myself through me, through my being, being in spirit, to others. But back to expectation, guys. What you have to understand is, the moment you you heap that expectation on somebody else, it is it is extremely easy to become disappointed. It is extremely easy to become let down. I mean, think about it. I'm approaching this red light, this green light, actually. And the moment it turns yellow, the inner me is expecting me to go through that motherfucker. <laughs> right? But the way stoplights work, the moment it's yellow, the other stoplights are getting signals to let them know, okay, we're about to turn green. Because once that light turns red, those lights are green. The opposite end, right? And I'm expecting myself to be able to make that that interval, that that brief moment in time when it's yellow. The yellow light is the shortest light of all, correct? We all know that. We all drive, okay? But the point I'm making, from the moment that light turns yellow, I have a decision to make. And I've made it because I'm, I'm, I put a certain expectation level on myself. And once I've done that, I'm expecting the other person, even when that light turned red, because a lot of us get our ass caught going through that yellow light when it's red, still going through the light. And I actually lost a friend who was actually tragically killed on my birthday. I just turned 30 on July 4th. She was killed by a drunk driver who... I don't know if it was at a stoplight. I don't know if it was at a stop sign. I'm actually we're going down there to figure out all the details through the courts and everything like that. But one thing you guys have to know is if I'm ex if I'm expecting myself to make it through that brief interval of time to that stoplight, I'm also expecting that I don't get hit going through that light. But that person, once they see green, they're expecting a right of way. So again, guys, I just want to put this gate code in. Uh, I just want to, you know, put that out there to you guys because this is my first, you know, YouTube. So if I'm everywhere, please forgive me. I don't, I'm not a professional just yet at this, but I will become one. Um, I just, um, and maybe it's coming from my personal experience right now. Maybe I'm going through something, which I am, of course. And something kind of hit me with the family member. And it just made me realize, can't expect that person to treat me and love me like I love them. And it's crazy because I had another family member who I had a little 
I don't know how to put it in quiet term, 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 the terminology I want to use here, but me and that family member, we actually had a heart to heart that I've been waiting for for years. So like, that was a extreme blessing. And I couldn't, just like that person, couldn't have an expectation on them to do what I needed them to do or be the person I wanted them to be because we all lost our mother. And I lost my eye, I'm blind in one eye. So that that's kind of where this stems from because I've always, always expected the, the best out of myself. And, and and I've been through some great heights in life. I've, I've, I've accomplished some great feats in life. Again, I have some YouTube channels on a lot of things about myself, but I can't expect none of my family members to live like I live, jump like I jump, you know, speak how I speak. Expectation, guys, a gift and a curse. And understand, in this life, learn your art form. I set this down. I'm driver's driving before, so maybe I could be a little more, have a little more clarity here with you now. Expectation is a demon because at the end of the day, a lot of people, again, we're all on this journey. We all have our own individual goals, aspirations. We come through our, we, we go through our own tribulations. And at the end of the day, how can I expect you to handle a situation like I would? Because we all have been able to go through a situation like a, a near, de near death accident, right? And we're not superheroes or no shit like that, but we're also at times able to slow down time. And like you see, your, they say your life flash in front of your eyes. That's your adrenaline going. That's that's your fight or flight instinct kicking in. And what happens in that instance, guys, is you're literally able to slow down time because of the years of information that you gain in your head going through things at the playground when you fell off the swing set and scraped your knee. Back when you, you know, when you was in high school and or, or middle school, maybe you had your first fight or hey, we all go through these things. Just childhood inst instances that accumulate to build our repertoire of knowledge think of your think of your brain and your head as a as a database as a as a file keeper okay right now uh, I'm driving and something happens literally in a heart beat in a single flash what happens is your brain starts to access files that you've seen before hey I remember this if I turn left but I before I turn left to escape this near-death accident I look in my mirror because I've seen there could be a car there before. And literally, I've already in the time as I'm thinking this, and, I, and as I look left, I just looked right at the same time, and I made sure that now I have options. You get what I'm saying? Let me refer this back to what I'm saying to you. I can't expect somebody else, I can't expect somebody else to do something I would want them to do or handle something I, how, how I would handle them, how I would handle it, or how I would want them to handle it because they may not have those same near-death experiences that I had. So they don't have that same capability of files to access like you may have. And I'm gonna wind this down because again, I'm gonna get better at getting right to the point and not going around the bush. That's something I'm good at doing. But guys, at the end of the day, if you expect somebody else to do something that you expect them to do, just expect to fail at it. If you expect somebody else to, you know, handle a situation like you would handle it, just expect to be let down because at least that way if you expect that disappointment won't hover over you you get what I mean you, you can never be disappointed that girlfriend that boyfriend I love you love them to death but if they don't do the things that you expect them to do whose fault is that truly you're getting with another human being again who has their own experiences own circumstances that they've been through that has built their mind of files and at the end of the day, don't let yourself be let down by the expectations that you decide to put on somebody else. Hey, man, they call me Joe Smoke. I've been Joe Smoke since I was 15. Not because I smoke anything. It's just because I guess at the time I was, you know, I was fast and all that kind of good stuff or whatever. But shout out to my boy Sammy who gave me that name because it stuck. And everybody from old businessmen to my father who's Nigerian, they all call me Joe Smoke, man. But plug smoke. Joseph, whatever you want to call me, man. Uh, Y'all check in with me. I'm going to have more videos to come on relationships, sports, life, instincts, everything. And uh, I appreciate you guys putting in time with me. Have a good one.